Good Friday morning, meteorologist Vanessa Alonso here, hoping you had a great week and ready for the weekend, but it is going to be an active one for us. But for your Friday, it's going to be a quiet and mild one. There could be a few isolated sprinkles out there, but not expecting much for today because unfortunately heading into the weekend, we're really going to need to keep our eye to the sky as we are tracking the chances for some showers, even th some thunderstorms, some of which could be on the strong to possible severe side behind it. We're going to be seeing much cooler air move back in as we wrap up 2019 and head into 2020. So here's the breakdown of your forecast for today. Some of you are waking up to a little bit of some patchy fog this morning, but it's not going to last for long, but we're still going to have the cloudy skies and still a chance for an isolated shower heading into the afternoon. Temperatures today will be going up once again into the middle to upper 60s for high temperatures. So here is the breakdown of how things are going to be looking for today. High temperatures will be going up to 67 degrees, mostly cloudy skies. Again, a few sprinkles, but a mild and quiet night for us overall. One more mild and quiet night for us tonight with mostly cloudy skies. Overnight lows falling to 56 degrees. We're going to see showers and thunderstorms move in tomorrow for your Saturday, but it will be tomorrow night into Sunday. We'll need to watch that potential for some strong storms to push through with a very breezy southeast wind at 10 to 20 miles per hour. So here is the breakdown. Most of us are dealing with clouds and some showers just down to our south. Some of that moisture can creep up towards our Mississippi and Alabama counties heading into the late morning into the early afternoon. But again, I'm not expecting much from today's activity. Just cloudy skies for the most part heading into your Friday night and into your early Saturday morning. And again, not everyone's going to see the rain today. It's going to be very isolated. One place could see it while another place doesn't. Now heading into early Saturday morning, we'll start off with cloudy skies, but rain chances will start increasing after 12 o'clock noon tomorrow, and it will become more widespread heading into our Saturday night and into our Sunday as we're going to be watching this system coming in from the central plains and this is going to be the system that's going to carry a very strong cold front ahead of it we're going to be wrapped up with some warm moist air we're going to be topping out tomorrow in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees so as this cold front pushes through as the warm moist air combines with the dry cold air behind the cold front that is when we could see the potential for some stronger storms begin to develop, especially heading into the overnight hours on Saturday into early Sunday morning and into probably early Sunday afternoon as this cold front continues to advance eastward. And then behind it, we'll start seeing much better conditions, but much cooler temperatures heading into next week. Now, heading into the weekend, again, we do have that potential for some strong to possible severe storms. There is a level one risk for our far western counties for Saturday night. Better chances for that level one risk for all of us heading into early Sunday morning into early Sunday afternoon. Something we're going to be tracking throughout the weekend, so keep it tuned to WCBI. Here's your AccuWeather seven-day forecast. Again, we're going to be tracking those chances for showers and thunderstorms throughout the weekend, then cooler temperatures back down to near average in the 50s as we go into Monday and Tuesday, and then as we say goodbye to 2019 and hello to 2020 midweek next week, we will be seeing another chance of rain in the forecast. Of course, we'll have the latest coming up this morning on midday and on sunrise. Hope you'll join us.